Hey friends and welcome to another Christmas themed video this week. This week I really wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite more unique kind of Christmas dish. I mean what would this channel be if I didn't share at least one recipe with you guys. Now this recipe I took out of my Christmas cookbook that I made last year. In there I feature two full Christmas menus that you can make. It includes starters, drinks, main dish and a dessert. But also more than that, it has gift wrapping ideas, table setting ideas, and also um, two playlists, playlists that I created that you can play at your dinner party. So if you have yet to decide what to make on Christmas Eve, then check out my Christmas cookbook. I'll leave the link for that down below. So the dish that we're going to make today is a quinoa sweet potato roast with some red cabbage. I love this dish because it, the red cabbage for me and just some other spices really make this dish very, very Christmassy. If you try this, you will know what I mean. As the recipe is called quinoa sweet potato, we obviously need some quinoa. So I already pre-cooked some quinoa here in this pot and then we're going to cut up the rest of our ingredients. So what we need is for one sweet potato that is also in the name of the dish. Then we need an onion and some garlic. Now we're going to cut this all up and then move on to the next step. So first off, we're going to start by peeling our sweet potatoes. So now onto cutting our sweet potato. We want to cut our sweet potato um, into little cubes. Roughly this size. And about one third of the sweet potato portion we want to cut into slices. This is mainly for decorative purposes, so if you don't care about presentation, then you can just cut all the sweet potatoes into little cubes. The slices don't have to be super thin, but that you should aim to make them more thin rather than thick. Okay, so next up we're going to cut our onion. Our onion we're also going to cut into small pieces. That was super quick and now all we need to do is dice up the garlic. I always like to crush my garlic first and then the peel comes off really easily. So mince the garlic finely. So now that we've cut up our ingredients, we're going to move over to the stove top. We're going to glaze some onions before the dish goes into the oven. So I'm gonna take you guys around and show you what to do next. So first things first, we're going to add the onion to our olive oil. Give that a stir. Once the onions have become slightly translucent, we're going to then add the garlic. Now for the most important part that's going to give this dish its flavor is to add rosemary. So we're going to be quite generous with our rosemary. And then also we're going to add a dash of cinnamon. Or maybe two dashes. Mix it all up, let the flavors come together. This is already smelling so delicious, just like Christmas. And once the flavors have come together, we're going to add our cooked quinoa. Mix that up. And then we're going to season this with a little salt and pepper. So now that we're done on our stovetop, all that is left to do is to combine everything in a baking dish and then roast this and then we are done. So all that we pretty much have left to do is to add 
the quinoa mix that we just made into a baking dish. Honestly, guys, this smells so incredibly delicious. This is, if this doesn't scream Christmas, then I don't know what does. And the great thing is that this is vegan. So next I'm going to add our diced sweet potato. I'm going to mix this up. Make sure that everything is incorporated evenly. We're then going to drizzle everything with a little bit of olive oil. Add another sprinkle of salt if you want. Now comes the sliced sweet potato. So as I said, this was supposed to be decorational. So we're going to layer this and kind of like a potato gratin. Then we want to brush our slices of sweet potato with a little bit of oil on top. And once everything is done, this is now ready to go into the oven. So now that our dish is in the oven, we need to let it bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to heat up our red cabbage that goes with this dish. The red cabbage that I use is kind of like a pre-cooked variation. If you want to or you can't buy this where you are, then you can definitely um, make your own. It's not that hard. I'll let you know down below how to make cooked red cabbage from scratch if you want to do that. Um, so yeah, we're going to heat this up and then assemble our dish. Oh, this is so delicious. I kind of wish I had exactly this dish as like a Christmas scent that I could put in my diffuser. <laughs> this smells so good. So a few final touches, adding some dry parsley as greenery decoration. We have over here in this little pot our red cabbage going and I'm going to show you guys how I like to plate this up. Okay, so I like to start off by garnishing with the red braised carriage. So what I like to do is do kind of like a nest type thing with the cabbage. Next, we want to be adding our roasted sweet potato on top. It doesn't matter if it falls apart, you can re always rearrange it. I like to use the sweet potato slices as garnish on top. And then adding some greenery around it always makes it extra pretty. And there we have it, super simple, really delicious. Nice and elegant presentation and vegan, perfect. So that's it, this dish is done. It smells so good, I can't wait to dig in. I feel like this presentation is so beautiful, especially with the sliced sweet potato on top. Comment below if you think you might consider this for Christmas. Once again, this is from my Christmas cookbook. I'll leave that down below. There are so many delicious recipes there. I'm a little biased because I am created those recipes. There is another one that is my favorite, um, which is a dessert. This is obviously a main dish, and that is chocolate mousse, but obviously it's also vegan. The whole cookbook is vegan. Um, I'll put up a photo of the mousse right here. So if you enjoyed this video and thought and think this looks delicious, then give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I wish Christmas was tomorrow so I could make this again. This is so delicious. This should be the new traditional Christmas dinner dish. Mm, this is so good. You guys have to try this. So to be honest, these past few weeks haven't felt too Christmassy. It was a great success.